out to the public. I think that's where people, a lot of people begin of to, course it's not to, to it's show a, if concern. If it has not come out to the public, we'll not be discussing it here. Oh, yes. I mean, people, and, when, and, people, and, and when you say that public Mokwe, officials... Mokwe, I have said this. Yes. And I think you are just trying to, you know, with due respect, you are just trying to make a mountain of a molehill. Why do I say this? Yes, there are divergent views between the Attorney General and the Chairman of the FCC, and the property authorities will look into it. Which is good enough. I mean, Absolutely. assuming this was some private concern, you know, it, it would be good. But when we look at the fact that, you know, this possibly could be what is hampering or what is ensuring that the EFCC is losing cases in court, that, uh, then, 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 then there are questions to be asked. When this is uh, a, a major pillar upon which the federal government, the, this current government, was elected into office, then there are questions to be asked. Yes, people can disagree amongst themselves. I don't always agree with my colleagues. But when it becomes matter for public discussion where we see uh, the assistance to uh, media assistance to the AGF issue a statement saying that uh, the acting EFCC chair played an ignoble role then we have to ask questions don't you think and that's the question you're asking and the answer I'm giving is that the matter is being looked into how soon do you think it's going to be resolved very soon how soon is very soon very soon what do you think has led to this that is what the investigation would bring out. Whose investigation? The presidency, of course. So the president is aware of this? Of course he has to be. He is the employer of all of them. Hmm. So how do you think this impacts? Yes, the president is signing treaties, and quite some people are yes, excited about it. But how do you think this impacts the perception of the war against corruption? Well, you see... The fact that the Attorney General and the Chairman of EFCC do not see eye to eye on the methods or the approach does not mean that both of them do not believe in the ultimate, which is corruption, must be addressed. If they disagree on methods, they disagree on uh, approach, then this is exactly why the president, the president will look into the matter and, of course, pronounce on, on, on the issue. We we'll look at the, uh, the, 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 Mr. President will look at what, why, why would he, for instance, the uh, a chairman of UFCC, why would he take, you know, the position he's taking? Why would the Attorney General, you know, take the position he's taking? And, this, to me, is just a purely administrative matter, which will be resolved. And if it's not administrative, then they will take the appropriate action. Uh, but just before we go, I'll take you up on one single matter which affects directly the pockets of Nigerians. Uh, just yesterday, we heard news that the president was quite excited, uh, pleased about how the economy is doing. But then, uh, which coincided with the release of uh, you know, figures by the MBS that yes, inflation is coming down, but food prices seem to be going up. We do know that the federal government did set up a committee to find out you know, what was going on with food prices before now. What were they able to find and what have they been able to do about food prices considering how you know, inflation is affecting it? Well, um, food prices is a very important um, uh, aspect of you know the economy. As a fact, is uh, one uh, aspect of the economy that touches everybody. It is true that food prices are, and have, and have gone up, and it is also true that the government is looking into you know physical, monetary, and even trade policies to bring down you know the food you know, food prices. But uh, I think that's only to me. It's only one side of the story. Uh, on, on, the, on the other front, the government has a success story. To tell on you know on the on the on the economy, uh, we have uh, been able to inch our way slowly out of recession. Uh, by the second quarter of this year, uh, it was 0.52, you know, uh, GDP, which is a far cry from the 2.73 minus 2.73 this same time last year. Uh, capital inflow has increased by, in second quarter of this year, 
by uh, 95 percent you know reaching uh, 1.792 uh, billion dollars um, our foreign reserve has hit an all as a 30 month high of 31.5 billion dollars as opposed to 23.89 billion just you know uh, in, in October you know last year and uh, in the area of um, the, our, the emphasis which we have put on agriculture and on the mining we are proud to report that you know mining has increased by 46 percent in this quarter mm -hmm. agriculture has you know maintained its lead we are happy to report also that manufacturing has gone out of recession you know for a number so of people this um, this is not of course to underestimate the work that has been done in that regard but for a number of people if food prices are yet to come down no, no, it, it we, means we, that they're yet to feel oh, the yes, impact we're we not uh, we're not uh, denying that the food prices are high mm -hmm. but we're saying that we're also addressing the issue and that we are looking at both monetary and physical measures as well as you know trade policies to see how we can bring back down the, the price of food. But well, what I'm just saying is that, yes, there are other areas of the economy where we've made tremendous you know, improvement. Well, Alhajulai Mohammed, we have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. He is the Minister for Information and Culture.